I'm here with Antetokounmpo Bakare and junior guard at St. Benedict's and you just got two offers from St. Peter's and Coastal Carolina. What does that mean to you to have these two major offers add to your repertoire? Having these two offers to my repertoire gives me confidence going into the AAU season because I'm going to be on the college radar, especially on a high D1 circuit. I feel like there's going to be a lot of pressure, especially maintaining those offers because they're going to be constantly watching me and so I have to always keep my game up. How do you define yourself as a player? You know, you're a guard, you can shoot well, but what's really important for you as a player? Me is locking my man down, making sure that I have the upper hand on the person I'm guarding and the person that's guarding me. And also, I like to hustle, I like to work hard, and I also like to uplift my team, especially in hard situations. You said you like to uplift your team. What situation comes into mind when you thought you were a leader and had to help your squad out? When it's a couple of bad possessions in a row and we need a stop or we need a bucket and I like to bring the team together, especially since if we're in a bad streak that we come together as a team. My favorite experience traveling is being able to be with my teammates, learning from each other since like all the team, all of my teammates come from different countries, different places in the world. So it gives me, it gives me a chance to learn about other people. Uh, I look up to J.R. Smith and Eli Kane, who's at DePaul right now, because those are high-level shooters and they're at the highest level of basketball right now. So being able to emulate my game after them gives me a better way to attack the game, especially at St. Benedict's. And Coach Mark Taylor, you know, he, he, he pr tough, he's tough on you guys. He knows you guys have a lot of things to put into each game. What does he mean to you as a coach? What does he do for you? How does he elevate your game? Coach Taylor, he's coached a lot of high prospect players and being able to be a player for him it gives me a chance to elevate my game to another level. And he's able to teach me how to run through offenses, especially since I'm a good scorer and one of the best scorers on the team. It gives me a chance to expand my game to another level. And you said your favorite player from Benedict's, but who's your favorite player currently in the NBA? My favorite player in the NBA right now has to be Kemba Walker because he's able to come off isolation, pick and rolls, and able to read defenses to make the right passes, and it's very clutch. And you know, we hear a lot about your basketball, but some, sometimes people forget that you guys are human too, you, you do certain things. Who, who are you as a person? Who do you define yourself as a person? Me as a person, I'm loving, I'm a very good friend. I like to bring the best out of people, especially on the court and off the court. I wanna see how other people are, especially if we need it in a situation, either on the basketball court or it's like a meeting or we're talking to somebody new. Um, I'm good at first impressions, especially me and new people, because I wanna give off the right vibe for later on opportunities. So that's the type of person I am. And for the colleges recruiting you, what do you think is your best asset on the court? I feel like my best asset on the court is to, to listen and to execute. How has St. Benedict's prepared you for the next level? Because you know you're still in high school now, but I know they're always trying to prepare you for that college level, maybe professional level. Well, St. Benedict's prepared me in a lot of ways, especially like especially when it comes to rotations. So some games I'll be the highest scoring player with the most minutes, and the next game I'll be I won't play at all. So like it gives me a chance to understand how college is going to be, especially especially rotation-wise, and. I know that at St. Benedict's there's, there's consequences for everything you do. So if you show up late to practice, you won't start the first game. If you run it slow, you're not being active, especially during that practice, like you won't play as much as you want to play. And um, it gives me a chance to understand how college will be. Yeah, you mentioned college. Time management is obviously hard. You know, you have so many practice hours, so many games, and national schedule. How do you keep up with your personal life, your school life, and basketball at the same time? I mean, it comes to my mother and being able to talk through everything, plan everything out. So I have to make sure I'm on top. I always set alarms when it, for practice. I always make sure I get my homework done at the right time, not wait for later. And I feel like me, me being able to do that gives me a chance to be flexible with my time and be able to control what I do. And you mentioned your mother. Is she somebody you look up to? Like, what does she mean to you? My mother's a very hardworking person, and she's a big role model to me because she's her, her being my role model makes me be another role model for other people because she's able to kill at first impressions and also being able to learn from her it gives me an opportunity to know where I came from. And I was talking to Madani, I asked him the same question. This is the last question. Who's the funniest kid on the team? He said you were one of them. Who do you think's the funniest? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm the funniest person on the team, but. If I'm really gonna be exact, I think it'd be Supreme Cook because okay. he's able to he's able to take a, a deep situation and make fun out of it.
All right, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time.